Hello, my dear friends. Yesterday I had an amazing experience that I shared with many of you. Our shul together with the OU had a Zoom conference call where uh, Rafal, Rabbi Rafal Kruskal, who was the CEO of the Kvo Orphanage in Odessa, Rabbi Rafal, in the last two weeks was able to miraculously take the children of the orphanage out of Odessa because they were in harm's way, evacuated over, I think, 350 children, and we brought them to Romania. This was a modern day day of Purim. It, a, it took place in the month of other. It was mamish and ace. There was so many dangers and there was so many complexities and and uh, with missiles flying all over the place and the roads were closed and and, and soldiers uh, blocking every uh, place of passage and, and they had to uh, take this large group of people and provide of children and provide for them there was it was uh, medical needs food security everything and they were able to bring them to uh, Romania I hope if you didn't hear the interview yesterday you listened to it it's just uh, unbelievable and very very moving I think this ties in very much to one of the main themes of Purim the Ramam says that uh, that there is a greater mitzvah to give to spend money on Shal on Matanas Yonim than it is to the money that we give to the poor on Purim than it is to spend uh, to money and have elaborate suudos fancy meals or uh, or very sophisticated shalachmanas. Take your money and invest it better in the in the in the poor. That's what the Ramam says. Why is that? What does that have to do with? Purim, what is, that's the only yantif where there is such a concept that you should uh, give money to the poor and, and that this mitzvah of giving to the poor supersedes other mitzvahs. What is, how, does it, how does it relate to, to Purim? So I think the answer is because, you know, Purim is about the struggle between Amalek and the Jewish people. Haman was a descendant of Agag, who was a descendant of, of, of um, Amalek. Shol was supposed to kill Agag, he didn't. And it represents... The story of Purim is the is the um, eternal battle between at least until Mashiach will come between the Jewish people and the Kaddish Baruch and Amalek. Muhammad Hashem the Amalek midor dor. God is going to battle Amalek every single generation. That's the that's the, the nature of of life is that there's always an Amalek. Amalek takes on different faces and different nationalities, but it's the same Amalek. When we think about Amalek. Amalek, maybe we think it was a um, it was a very uh, courageous warrior. It was brutal, but he was uh, Amalek was a people that were um, that, that were the fierce fighters. It's not true. It's just the opposite, because the Chumash says that Amalek was vayizanim b'cha hanecha shalom acharecha. Vayizanim means to be like a tail. They cut off the tail. The Jewish people they they sliced off the tail and. Who was at the tail end? There was people It was people who were weak, the infirm, the young, the old, people who had difficulty staying up together with the rest of the camp. And that's who Amalek attacked. They attacked the Nachshom. And you were tired and weary. Amalek is not... It, it, Amalek does battle with the Jewish people. They're, they're constantly battling with the Jewish people. But it's not, a, a, it's not really a war. There's a famous book called the, the 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 war against the Jewish people against the Jews. It's not a war. A war implies two sides. Each one has their own strengths. A wrestling match is is a is a war. Or a, bat, or a boxing match. The, the, Amalek doesn't engage in wars. Amalek finds the weak people, the vulnerable, and he attacks them. That's not a war. That's an act of cowardice to go after the people that are the weakest. And it's not limited to Amalek who attacked the Jewish people in the desert. He attacked the Hanech Shalom Acharecha, the people who were Cholosh, means that they were weak. It's not, that is not the, the full, that, that, that is the pattern of Amalek throughout the generations. Because Amalek, Haman is the same thing. Ha Haman didn't make a war against the Jewish people. He didn't take an army and, and have a battle with the Jews. Haman sat in, 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 in total security in the, in the palace of, of Achishverish and they plotted how to, how to annihilate the Jewish people, and the Jews were totally vulnerable. And one day they were going to be executed, every single Jew. It means they couldn't even fight back. Why not? Why couldn't they fight back? Because they couldn't, because they didn't have arms, they didn't have, they weren't organized as an army. 
the, 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 they were going to be annihilated in one day. And, so, and Haman orchestrated that. That was, Haman is, um, Haman is a, a, a true descendant of Amalek. He attacks the Nechshalim. He doesn't attack, it's like, you know, you, you, somebody's fighting with a little, little, little child. He said, why don't you pick on somebody your own size? Amalek doesn't do that. Amalek doesn't pick on somebody's own size. Amalek finds the vulnerable and the weak. And that's the same thing is true throughout the throughout Jewish history, throughout generations. The Nazis, when they they didn't battle with the Jews, they didn't have a hand to hand combat with the Jews. They d demoralized them. They they starved them. They they persecuted them. They took away slowly. They took away all their rights. They demonized them, and then they th th threw them onto and they isolated them and they put them into cattle cars. And when they came out of the cattle cars and they were marched. To the, to the gas chambers by the Nazis, Yamach Shemam Zichram. Were they a, a, an army that was able to battle? Were, were the Nazis fighting with people? It, 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 that was the, the, the greatest act of cowardice in the part of the Nazis. They t took people who were totally destroyed, who, who, had, who were the most vulnerable people in the world, and they, and they executed them, the horror of horrors, in, in the gas chambers. But that is the character of Amalek. Putin is doing the same thing. I don't know if Putin is, a, is an Amaleki, but it's the same pattern of behavior. He's attacking a vulnerable country. It's the, the, the powerful Russian army, as much as the Ukrainians are, are making a, a valiant effort to fight against the Russian army, but it's, it's David and Goliath. And, and we, Putin, he, gives this, he creates this image for himself that he's a fierce warrior, fierce uh, the ruler. He, he takes pictures, uh, has f photo ops of himself on a horse without a shirt. He's a coward. He sits in the Kremlin and he, and he and attacks innocent people. He, he shoots missiles into residential areas. Is that an act of a, of a fierce warrior? That's, a, that's the attack on the, on the next show. Putin makes Yusomim. Putin murders parents and then their children become Yusomim. They become orphans. And, and he terrorizes the, the, the population. And, and, and that, is the, that, that is the strategy of Amalek, to go after the people who are the weakest. And the, the, the reason why I think that on Purim, there's a mitzvah to give Matanus of Yonim, and, and the Ram says that, that is that supersedes the other mitzvahs, is because the Jewish people, we recognize that strength is not in fighting against others. That's not strength, and especially not fighting against others with cowardice, against those that are the, the weakest and the most vulnerable. It, Adrabe, strength is taking the, the most vulnerable population and building them up, of giving them courage, of giving them hope, of giving them resources, of giving them sustenance. That is true strength, that's true gevura. And, and the Rambam says that when we do that, we are emulating the Kaddish Baruch Hu because the Kaddish Baruch Hu is concerned about the Umgolam. He's concerned. That's how God spends his time. He's, he, he, brings, he brings hope. He, he revives the spirit of those who, who are afflicted and those who are in, in pain and those who, who, who are weak. And that's what we have to emulate. When we emulate the Rivana Shalom, that that is a, a that is a true sign of strength. Rivan Hashem is Hashem Ish Melchama. It says in Az Yasha, he's a man of war, but he's not the, the man of war where he fights people with it in, in in armed battle. It's he's a man of war because he fights for what it, for for those who are the the most vulnerable and the weak and the afflicted. He fought for the Jewish people by by Yamsuf, and and that's what we're emulating on Purim. Is is that it, 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 and it's and it, the reason why it ties into Purim is because Haman went after the Nechshon. Haman and Amalek, that that's their 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 strategy, the modus operandi. They go after the Nechshon, and we it's just the opposite. We support the Nechshon. We 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 give hope to them. We we provide for them, and that is that is true Gevura. And if you listen to Rafal Kruskal yesterday. On the on the interview, and I say, if you didn't hear it, I hope you'll listen to it. I, 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 I'm going to send the the interview to the shul by through email. You you couldn't fail to hear uh, uh, that this uh, that he that see a modern day hero, and and his heroism is because he's devoted his life to umlalim to the assignment. 
to the to the orphans. The, these are the kids that are the most vulnerable, and it's to the, I have to give tremendous credit to Effie Zinkin and Seth Gertzberg who have supported this organization. They 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 people don't even know what they've been doing. They they raised tens of millions of dollars for the for the organization over the years. And this is such a tremendous act of chesed. And Rufo, as the head of the organization, he has devoted his life to the to, to the to the nechshalam acharecha to, to those who are weakest and those who are vulnerable. And he's transformed their lives. He's, he's, he's they have no home. These kids were living in the gutters, and he and he provided a place, and they and they raised them from from cradle to to, to bar mitzvah to to, to the chasana, and, and they and they helped them relocate in Eretz Yisrael if they were, for many of them, and they they provided all their needs. And here, while the the country of U, 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 Ukraine was under assault by. I, yeah, I don't know if he's an Amale, a, a true Amaleki, but it was an Amal, Amalek type assault. So River Fall, he took the he took the orphans. He's been he's been providing for the orphans for years, and and it was a nice Purim. It was a miracle of Purim that he was able to provide for these the the, the planning and the and the chachma and the and the security and the strategy and it, it costs the operation costs millions of dollars, and it's still going to cost. Even even more millions, and, and you should. This is a terrific stucca to support. The, the the this is he he, he was he this is a, an orphanage. The orphanage is this is the the um, what the Rambam is talking about is is that the highest level of simcha is to be able to to support the 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 the, the assignment and the almanos and the people who are vulnerable, the people who who are in, in, in unfortunate situations. So this is a. Uh, this is the, the antidote against Amalek. There's a battle in Amalek. The Chumash says, Midor Dor. Every generation, Amalek is battling. And it's not only a battle with the Jewish people, but it's a battle. The Chumash Hashem Amalek. Amalek battles against the Jews, but Amalek is also battling against HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And they're no match for HaKadosh Baruch Hu because HaKadosh Baruch Hu, he is just the opposite of Amalek. He is HaKadosh Baruch Hu. He's not, he doesn't, he's not impressed by by. by uh, air power and the missiles and things like that. Yvonne was impressed by people who have the Gevura to devote their lives, as, such as, as uh, Rafal has, to the to the to the Umlalim, to the Yisomim, to the to the to the orphans. What a, what an amazing accomplishment to build an orphanage. And now the orphanage unfortunately had to relocate, they had to leave behind. Can you imagine what that was like also? Leaving behind their, their lives and everything that they had built, and he and he described it that it, it wasn't just an orphanage; it was it was a it was a thriving community, a revival of a Jewish community in Odessa. And he had to he had to leave them behind because he made it a, a, a correct decision that it's more important to provide for the safety of the of the children. And Mir Shem, the uh, the Odessa, the, the Tikva uh, uh, orphanage from Odessa should. Continue to have to do tremendous work, and they should be successful. Rufal should have the koach and and all the, the 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 supporters who have done so much for the organization, and they should be able to find a a, a new place of uh, maybe eventually they'll be able to come back to Odessa. We don't know how this war is going to unfold, but Mir Tzeshev they should have the the, uh, the uh, particular Rufal should have the koach to continue in his amazing work on behalf of uh, Kal Yisrael.